Hey guys, Vic here. Quick follow-up video on the condenser drain setup for your AC system. As I showed you guys before, I have a new system installed, so I had to install a drain. And this was my temporary solution, just with a bucket for now, till I got something better, and I decided to go with the easy trap. So I'm gonna show you how to set this up, install it, uh, as well as a pump with it, as you want the water draining outside of the house, not sitting in a bucket. So let's get started. Trap uses three quarter piping, so I got some three quarter angle adapters that I'm gonna need um, in the plumbing section, Home Depot uh, pipe. Uh, you're gonna need uh, cement. Since this is not pressurized or anything, I'm just using the regular cement without any uh, primers and stuff like that. And you're gonna need either pipe joint compound or some Teflon tape, tape cutters and then, uh, to install it. And also for the pump, I'm going with this guy. Originally in Home Depot, I purchased this one but i found a better deal online for this one i think it was like 50 bucks at supply warehouse or something like that and this is 65 gallon uh per hour pump the other one was 80 which you really don't need for a condensate drain and so this is going to be the whole setup here's just a quick front view of where i installed it you can also go on this side here and this drains here um at least most systems are like that, but you want to go in the lower one. So either the one here or the lowest one here. So first I'm just going to remove the old setup. Since I glued all this down. And I'm going to have to cut this off and unscrew it. Here's what we're gonna connect our new setup to. Just clean that up and install the new one. So here's a quick look at the trap setup. Basically the higher piece is where we're draining from. And then this is what we drain into our bucket or the pump. So this connects to the AC part, drain, and this will be the one exit. First we gotta just cut the pipes to measure it out to get that angle right. So the threaded piece, we're gonna thread it in here like we previously had it. We're gonna measure how long we want the pipe go. 90 degree angle, another one. And we'll connect this here. Probably keep it as close as possible. This is all still adjustable before you glue it down. So we can move everything around as needed. Let's do it. Right, PVC piping is really hard, so you need a pipe cutter like this to cut it. This one I actually picked up on eBay for 12 bucks as heavy duty ones in Home Depot will cost you about 30 or so or cheap ones about 10, 15, but they don't last and they're tough to use. This one's mechanical. So it locks down slowly to give you a good cut. So I measured my measurements. And now we just cut it. Place the pipe in, scratch it down. And that's it, we got a cut. We'll do the other ones and we'll do a dry fit. So quick test fit. shorter. Right, we got it all trimmed up. One more test fit before we glue it down. This one can angle like this. Some, some people do it that the easy trap is going straight in, but I can't do that because I have the door. I have the door right here that I need to open. That's why I'm going to the side. And that's why this is getting twisted. This will look good. And then we'll just do the other side. Here's the view on the other side. I'm just make sure that this is out of the way once we set it up. And I'm gonna do an extension like this here with another right angle, 90 degree. So keep it away from the front. We'll go down here 
and pump down there. So now we can glue all this up and move on to the pump install. So I'm gonna glue up this connector first before I thread it in. And just like I showed you guys, PVC cement. This already comes with the brushes on it. Just glue it around like this. Same with your opening. Squeeze the two together. And wait a little bit, let it dry up, and then we can thread this on and connect the rest. So this time instead of Teflon tape, I'm gonna use the pipe joint compound. To make sure nothing's leaking. And I'm just gonna put this on my thread. And then we just thread it in. piece make sure all connections are clean and dry You still have time to adjust this now. I want to make sure it's going downwards, not upwards or straight. Same with this guy. I'm going to test it again. All right. I'm going to take this off. Now we just have extension pipe. I'm not gonna glue this one down yet because I wanna test fit it to the pump. Same with this, I can trim it if I need to. But um, this is all set now. There you go guys, the whole setup. Just make sure there's no leaks, check everything once the system's running. And um, that's it, we are all set. Pump is installed. I have a separate video 
how to do that as well so i don't waste your time here but check it out if you're planning to install one thank you for watching please subscribe follow any questions let me know guys and don't forget to clean your trap here once in a while probably when you change your air filter and your heating system this kid already came with a brush so we'll do a follow-up video on that one it gets gunky thank you guys